Jacob Roloff has a very strong opinion about Josh Duggar. The former Little People Big World star, he once worked for TLC, the same network that previously employed Josh and who still employs his loved ones, stated this opinion on Instagram yesterday, and he did so in very strong and straightforward fashion. First, a quick refresher. Josh Duggar was arrested several days ago on horrifying charges of child pornography. The father of six, who is expecting his seventh child with wife Anna, is accused of downloading material in May 2019 from his office computer. This material allegedly featured minors under the age of 12. It's a disgusting allegation, and it has prompted statements not just from Josh's relatives, but from the aforementioned cable network as well. TLC is saddened to learn about the continued troubles involving Josh Duggar, executives said last Friday, adding, 19 Kids in Counting has not aired since 2015. TLC cancelled the show on the heels of prior allegations against Josh Duggar, and he has not appeared on air since then. Yes, TLC did cancel this show in the wake of Josh confessing six years ago to having molested little girls when he was a teenager. But they also rebranded it after barely any time and the family returned to TV, as Roloff jumped all over them for on Monday. He responded as follows. TLC's statement of essentially he hasn't been on air in a while completely sidesteps the dynamic of being able to air terrible people with sometimes terrible producers for often terrible motives for Boku ratings and profit. And still profiting. A man, right? As we said, the network spun off 19 Kids in Counting into the program Counting On almost immediately back in 2015, meaning it continues to pad the bank account of Jim Bob Duggar. This is the same person who helped cover up his oldest son's molestation of his siblings and seemingly arranges for very young women to marry his children and bear him grandkids. TLC is bankrolling a call these days, there's no way around it. Added Roloff of TLC. They treat their own products, shows and talent in liability sense as contracted out and completely detached from them and their responsibility, which may or may not be legally true, when in fact these shows were conceptualized and distributed by them. He makes a fair point, and it's important to remember something else. Jacob accused a TLC producer of sexual assault in December. He left Little People Big World acrimoniously in the summer of 2016, railing at the time against the phony nature of the show and how his parents and siblings acted like characters while filming. He's often been very critical of the reality television world in general. Jacob thinks it's all a bunch of scripted nonsense, often presented to viewers as some kind of window into reality, when in actual reality it's anything but. Elsewhere in his Instagram stories this week, Jacob recalled how TLC treated him after he revealed a few months ago that executive field producer Christopher Cardamone molested and groomed him. He wrote, TLC's own statement after my own in December 2020 was, our main focus remains on supporting the Rolla family during this very difficult time. I never heard from them, no one, nothing, not once, nor did I quite honestly expect to, the ghouls. TLC doesn't give a fuck what happens on or off camera, as long as they get paid and you lot keep watching. Don't. Wait, is Jacob Roloff really telling people not to watch reality TV, which has undoubtedly provided his family with fortune and fame, even though his own relatives, with whom he now gets along very well, profit from it via their own long-running show? Well, yes. Acknowledging this conflict of interest, Jacob concluded on the topic. Again, do not watch, i.e. lower the ratings, is a statement directly connected to the well-being of half of my family, so it's a conflicted position, but it is certainly my position. Interesting, right? And kind of hard to argue with. Consider that reality TV as a genre supports the following people among many others we could list. June Shannon, who abandoned her kids to spend $1 million per year on a cocaine habit. Ronnie Magro, who has been arrested on multiple occasions for domestic violence. Amber Portwood, who has also been arrested for and accused of domestic violence. And of course, all of the Duggars. Obviously, individuals whose lives are chronicled on reality TV are still human beings and make mistakes. It's probably not fair to group them all together and blame the fact that they're on TV for these troubles. But it does make you wonder. Perhaps it is time we reevaluate this industry and wonder, just what the heck are we doing here? That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.